Hey guys, Tess here with PTZ Optics. Today I'm going to show you a six step process on how to set up and implement our PTZ producer kits. So step number one, the host and heart of our producer kits is this bad boy here, the Intel Skull Canyon Nook PC. Everything's gonna be based off of this device. So we're going to plug USB, power, HDMI, I'll show you. We have power here and we have two monitors plugged in, one DisplayPort to HDMI and one HDMI directly into the monitor. Next, I'm just going to plug in my uh, USB extension hub into one of the two USB ports on the back of the Skull Canyon. You'll see you have another one up front as well. The back has two USB ports, one display to HDMI port extension and an HDMI extension, mini HDMI port, and finally, of course, we're going to need internet right here. So now we have power, internet, USB control, and Thunderbolt. Let's power her on. Okay, so now it's time to move on to step two, which is bringing our cameras into the PC. So we have a 20X SDI PPC Optics camera, and I have it already mounted to a simple um, tripod mount here. I'm going to mount that to the tripod right now before we uh, power on the cameras. The producer kits come with a Magewell capture card and that's how we're going to turn SDI into USB to bring into the PC. So the producer kits come with a 100 foot of SDI cable. We're using 50 foot today for convenience purposes. I'm going to bring that into the back of the camera here. And the other side of the SDI cable is going to attach to our Magewell capture card. Easy enough. Secured. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab a USB cable and go from the USB port and the capture card into our PC. All right, right into the front of the nook. So now we have access to our camera once we power up the camera. You may notice I have my switch over here for internet, of course, but also for power over ethernet and power to the camera. So yes, today we are powering the cameras over uh, ethernet. Of course, they do include power supplies if you prefer not to use this way, but we're saving some wires today, so that's how we're gonna do it. Plug in and I'm gonna just power on the camera now. All right guys, time to head into step three, which is the RS-232HC joystick. This is how we're gonna control our cameras today. Couple steps in getting this into the camera. We start with our DB9 extension cable, this guy, into the back at the RS-232 port of the cameras. Important to note, I've already powered the joystick here. I've got that plugged into the outlet. And now we're gonna take the DB9 cable into the 8-pin mini DIN. All right, so this is the 8-pin mini DIN, which is gonna go into the back of the PTZ Optics camera. This is what's going to connect the joystick to the camera. Quick example of daisy chaining our cameras for the PTZ Producer Plus kits. You can see we have brought the joystick into this DB9 port. And then we're going to just bring that out so we can connect it to our next camera. Then we're gonna drag this guy from the out of this camera back into the in of this camera. And so on and so forth. All right, now for step four. The PTZ Optics producer kits come with a Shure audio mixer. We're actually using a larger audio mixer, a Behringer, and we're going to take the feed of the Shure audio mixer into the Behringer, simply by this little XLR input in the back of the device. And then from there, it's simply a USB connection from this device back to our Nook PC. If you are only using one microphone, you would just bring that microphone back into the Shure and then via USB into your computer, and that can be your sole audio mixer for your production. Time for step five, which is simply opening up your favorite streaming uh, software or hardware and bringing the camera in. So today we're gonna use OBS, Open Broadcast Software, which is an open source, free, yes I said free streaming platform. Over here we have the ability to add our sources. In this case, it is going to be a video capture device. Let's go ahead and name this PTZ Optics Rocks. 
because why not? Right here in this little drop down, we are going to select our labeled SDI video camera. There you see a nice preview of it and Michael uh, taking the shot for us. And there we go. We now have the PTZ Optics Producer Kit implemented our camera in the computer and we're ready to go live. For those of you rookies out there, first time streamers, the next step for you is pretty simple. You're just gonna head to your favorite streaming platform, Facebook, YouTube, what have you. You're gonna grab the stream name, which is Secret Password. You're also gonna grab the URL of your uh, live stream and you're gonna plug that into your streaming software. With platforms like OBS, um, you can actually log directly into your YouTube or Facebook um, to go live. For those of you lucky producer plus kit owners, if you have two or more PTZ Optics cameras in your producer kit, there's one extra step for you. This is going to be our producer plus box. This is going to allow you to add 3G SDI up to four cameras into your computer, all via your Thunderbolt included cable. And if you remember from earlier in the video, there is a Thunderbolt port on the back of that Intel School Canyon Nook. So you're gonna just bring your 3G SDI cables right into this device and then out via Thunderbolt extension into your Nook. Just for a little more in-depth overview of this device, as you can see, we have four 3G SDI ports here. Your power is simply down here, just a 12 volt battery pack. If you want to see the display from these current cameras directly, there's an HDMI port that you can drag that to a monitor if you'd like. And then here's our Thunderbolt port that's gonna allow us to bring this back into the Intel Nook. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was really helpful for you. If you did like, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe uh, for more videos like this. Now, if you need some more assistance, feel free to message me on Facebook. I'm always there or contact support directly. We have a dedicated support team, Monday through Friday, ready to help you guys.